Hello, Juliana here from the South Towns Y, ready to talk about our hip hinge for Technique Tuesday, as that is our new exercise this week. I do have a non-weighted bar that I'm gonna use for our form tips. A broom or a very lightweight mop, if you have at home, will be helpful for you to give this a try with me. What I'm gonna do with my bar is place it behind my back. I want my bar to be in contact with the back of my head, the middle of my shoulder blade, and then right at my tailbone. I'm gonna place my feet underneath my hips, up nice and tall in my posture, my core is engaged. I'm gonna soften my knees, and then I'm gonna hinge from my hips, and then push through my heels to stand back up, all while maintaining touch with my bar. So again, with the straight bar, hinge from your hips, and then now push through your heels to extend your hips forward. What we're avoiding with having this bar right at our head is moving from our head and our chin. So what might be a deterrent for you for this exercise is that you're moving from your chin and your shoulders instead of from your hips and through your hips. So using that straight bar to stay in contact with all points is gonna be very helpful. Once you can have that form down, you're gonna to move to your level one, which is just the body weight version of this exercise, placing your hands towards the floor, pulling your shoulders up, core is engaged, knees are soft, hinging again from your hips and then through your hips, squeezing your glutes at the top of your movement. Once you get level one down and you wanna to move to level two, you're just gonna add weight. So if I'm adding dumbbells to my exercise, Again, feet are right underneath your hips. As you're pushing through your hinge, you wanna just slightly pass your knees with your weights, and then that's where you come up forward. So we're looking to be about parallel to the floor with our upper body, and no lower. If you are finding that your weights are causing you too much stress, it might be because you're moving from your shoulders again and your chin not from your hips pushing to the back so make sure that you try the level one option first before you go to your level two where you're adding weight form over everything is the key with this exercise to avoid injury give it a try let me know how it goes and i hope this helps i'll see you next time